Hey guys, welcome to another Substance Paint tutorial today. And um, this is going to be showing you how to almost hide a part of your model, which you might have brought in from an external 3D modeling program, but you might not want to use two texture sets. Um, and so, simply before we get started, it'd be using creating a simple alpha channel um, in your actual channels over here, and then be able to sort of hide the section that we don't want. Now, obviously you can do it by using multiple texture sets which are used in Substance. So if you see here on my padlock, I've got uh, the main body here with the sort of latch, and then these combination spinners are separate with its own actual um, texture set. So if I untick those, and I untick the texture set, I, that'll unhide the model. But say, for instance, as, a, as an example, I want to get rid of this latch, but there's no real way of me doing that. And just in the similar way that we actually mask off areas by maybe using an ID map um, to texture parts of our model, say, as in my latch has an ID map and so does the main body, so then we can keep you know, different parts to the same model on one texture for optimization's sake. We want to be able to hide this part if I say want to add some detail up here, but I can't really see what's going on. So all we really need to do is go to the viewer settings. We need to go to the shader that we've got, which is normally PBR Metal Rough. And then we want to go to um, PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. And that'll allow us to actually do the opacity. So what we can do is we go back onto the texture set settings. We go to the channels. We can add a new channel, and then we can choose opacity. We'll add the opacity to our actual list of channels. On whatever thing that you might have, we can add a potentially a new fill layer. And I will put this inside my um, masked area, which is for the lock. I'll put it above my um, original material that I've got and you'll notice that because it's just a fill layer or just be a white what we can do is we can get rid of all the other channels that are on it leave the opacity channel so it actually wouldn't do anything because it is full white at the moment so it's not actually affecting everything now if we knock this all the way down to black you can see that it's now disappeared. Really, the model is still there, but for the sake of this, now we could potentially start painting onto this object. And if I bring up the UV mode, and you need to access a part, if I start painting, so with that invisible, if I go to my sort of main body that I've got here, and I will add a standard, just a sand paint layer inside my folder, and I'll bring it up to the top and I will just add sort of this plastic that I've got and I can start painting over here and I can start painting over the areas that I may have had a problem with and say you might have a more complex model and um, the thing that we've just actually cut out with the alpha with the opacity it's still there in itself so it might block you from maybe being able to paint it's only a sort of superficial way to hide it just while you're working so you might need to work on your actual UV map itself rather than on the actual um, model if things are getting in the way when you're painting because you've got to imagine it is still there um, in the background we're just hiding it with the opacity you can duplicate the um, alpha layer that we've got and you can bring it into the main body of something else and you know we can do exactly the same thing and we can fade it easily like that if we need to hide and show different things depending on what we might be working on so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers